Okay. Recording in progress. Um, I'm Judge Orfinger, and I'm going to conduct your detention hearing this morning. Uh, the purpose of a detention hearing, sometimes we call them a first appearance, but the purpose of a detention hearing is for me to determine whether there is probable cause that an act of juvenile delinquency occurred and that you are the person who committed that act of delinquency. And if I do find that there is probable cause that those offenses occurred um, or that an offense occurred, we then discuss whether uh, there is a basis to keep you detained or whether there is a basis uh, to release you and if so, under what circumstances. Some things you need to know. First off, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you do say can be used against you. This proceeding is being recorded. There is uh, an attorney from the state attorney's <laughs> office here. And so if you say something, there won't be any question about whether you said it or who you said it to. Um, you also have the right to a lawyer at all stages of the proceeding. Now, um, this youth is uh, a, a ward of the Department of Children and Families. Is that correct, Ms. Marrero? Yeah, yes, Your Honor. He's committed to the department. Oh, Mr. Beckwith. Permanently, sir. All right. So I'm going to appoint uh, the Office of the Public Defender uh, to represent you today, sir. And uh, Ms. Hughes from the Public Defender's Office uh, is here. Uh, hopefully you see her on your screen. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning, Ms. Hughes. And I said there was an attorney from the State Attorney's Office. That is uh, Ms. DePaula. Uh, now, Mr. O'Brien, you are charged with armed burglary of a dwelling, structure, or conveyance. You're also, a char you're also charged with attempted first-degree murder of a law enforcement officer. Now, I've reviewed the arrest report. And based on my review, there is probable cause for the arrest, probable cause to believe that uh, that these acts occurred and that you're the person who committed them. Ms. Uh, Hughes, do you have any argument on probable cause? Not as to probable cause, Your Honor. All right, thank you. Um, I reviewed the uh, uh, score sheet prepared by the Department of Juvenile Justice, the detention screening instrument. Um, you do score for continued secure detention. And I'm going to order that you be held uh, in secure detention for 21 days or until further order of the court. Um, at uh, this point, that is about all we can do for this morning, other than to set an arraignment date. Uh, this is going to be in Judge Gostad's division on the west side. Um, do you want to set an arraignment date today, Ms. DePaulo? Yes, Judge. If we could set something approximately three weeks away, close to that 21-day mark. Okay, the 21 days will run on June 23rd at 5 p.m. Madam Clerk, what have we got? We can actually set that on June 23rd at 10.30 a.m. And Judge, would your Honor agree to a secure detention review on the 9th, which is our next uh, uh, court date with Judge Gosted? Any objection, Ms. DePaula? Yes, Judge, we would object to that. He scores for secure detention, and the state needs time to be able to make a filing decision in this case. But the ninth is not going to be a sufficient amount of time for that to take place. With 
Your Honor, ultimately, we're not asking for an arraignment on the 9th. We wouldn't expect a, a filing decision. We're just asking for a secure detention review given his age. Well, I don't see a basis to do a review. So we'll just leave his arraignment set for the 23rd. And I'm sorry, Madam Clerk, at what time? Uh, 1030, Your Honor. All right. And Your Honor, additionally, given his dependent status, would uh, you appoint the public defender beyond today's court date? I anticipate him receiving conflict counsel, so I would like to get the ball rolling on that. Um, if conflict counsel is going to be necessary, uh, you just need to file a uh, file a motion to withdraw based on the conflict and Judge Goss said will no doubt then appoint the Office of Regional Conflict Counsel. Correct, Your Honor. Okay. Is there anything further? They're not from the state, Judge. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Mr. O'Brien. We'll move on to our next case. Damn. Shot fired. Shot fired. All right, Central. They rotate the gun. Shot fired. Everybody get hard cover. Hard cover. down uh, Lake Helen or, or um, Enterprise Osteen, please. So let's block that off. Everybody make sure you have hard, hard cover. Sergeant Maxwell. Stand by. Stand by. Pierce Fema has a long gun pointed toward me. I have to hold my cover. Stand by. either a shotgun or a long gun. Female has it in her hand. Juvenile male looks like he has something in his hand as well. They're back to back. Sliding glass door on my side, which would be facing the three. Shooting out the rear window toward my direction. Stand by. Coming toward my way. Coming out the three side towards the central. Stand by. They're trying to come out the back door. I'm going to stand by. Okay. No weapons in their hand. They just busted out the window in the back. Stand by. Female has a shotgun in her hand. Stand by. Put the gun down now! Ten four, they're shooting at me. Hold it, hold the air. I'm code four. She's re racking around inside the shotgun. All right, let's not engage them anymore. Let's not challenge them. Just hold behind hard cover. We're just going to hang out here. Um, okay. Unless they come out and they're going to be compliant, let's not go ahead and try to uh, escalate this any further, guys. Just everybody stand by. WC4, she's racked around the shotgun. The window is busted out on the patio side. So if she comes out, she's going to have the firearm. Okay, well then you challenge her. But let's hold behind hard cover and let's uh, try to do everything we can to try to keep her. Uh, 
Show you reading. Juvenile male has a firearm in his hand. Juvenile female is at the one two side corner. I'm not sure if they're going to come to the front door or not. Stand by. Don't make me do this. Don't do this. They look like they're going to try to come out. My little challenge. Come your hands now! Do not approach that door. She's got a shotgun pointed at that door inside on entry. Just so I'm clear for everybody, nobody should be approaching anything. Female's got a light on, appears possibly at the bathroom toward the one side house. Both juveniles are still in view. Those with you. Stand by, shots fired at me again. Juvenile male fire that round. Yeah, bring him up here. Okay. Stand by. She's got the AK and the shotgun. She's wrapping around the top of her neck. Head fire! God damn it! Shots fired again. Female now has a pistol. Juvenile male has a long gun. So does the female. Stand by. She's pointing the gun. Point the gun behind the trash can. Behind the trash can. You guys be careful of your phone, Mark. She's out there by you guys. Cease fire! Central, shots fired, shots fired. Elio, shots fired. The boys out is retreating inside! Okay. Everybody stand by, stand by. She's down behind the garbage can. He's right there. All right, guys. Let's just chill. Everybody hold up. Take a break. Billy, get back. Back, back, back. Come on. I think the female's down. Stand by. Where's the little boy? The boy went back inside. Come on out! Inside. Come on out! Come out! Okay! The boy's throwing guns. Stand by. Get your hands up! Keep your hands up! Sawicki! Sawicki, call him to you. The female's on the ground behind the car. The female's on the ground there. Hey, let's get him secure, get a status on her. We get him secure. We still got movement, hey. We got movement. Going back towards you. There one female still slightly right. moving. Get him secure. Let's start getting up on her. Get a shield. Let's go up. We got to get some rescue up here, guys. Watch you secure. All right, stand by. Advise when you secure. Rescue. We need rescue. Central, go ahead and start. Have a start. Is he secure? Start moving up. Rescue will come up when she's secure. Light her up. With a light. With a light. No, but I don't know if I ever asked him to stage. You got eyes on her? Let's worry about getting her secure. Get your hands up! Stop talking. 10 3, 10 3, 10 3. Okay. Get up on her. Get up on her. Get up on her. Gray, you get that rifle. Don't reach towards that gun. Step on that rifle. Step on that shotgun. Go to the house. We need some coverage on the house. Clear her. Get, get gloves on. You got the house. Okay? You got the house. Get gloves on. Get gloves on now. I got the shotgun. Somebody go get you get off her! Get the gun! Okay. Hey. Stop. Go. Relax. Get that shotgun out of here. All right. Um, you guys got her? Yes. All right. Ready? Whoever's got a med kit, some type of med kit. I need it up here now in the garage. All deputies are code four. Bella Winhoven's going for his med kit. All right. Tell him to step it up. Oh. You know. Get your belt off. Where's she hit? Watch her. All right. All right. Oh, what's she at? Hold her where she's at. Rip that off. Hold off. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Rip this. Pull it. Hey, what's your name, sweetie? Rip it. What's your name? Come on. 
Come on, sweetie. What's your name? What's your name? Nicole. Are you Nicole? All right. All right. Nicole, stand still. Stand still. Hey, watching. Julie, I need something. Where's she hit? Show me her injuries. Where is she in? Okay, hold what she got. All right, stay still. Nicole, listen to me. Nicole, stand still. All right, give me, give me your knife. Give me your knife. Hold that. Hold that. Stay still. Let's go. Grab her. No, let's go. Let's go. Let's throw her in the waiting around for these people to get here. Let's go. All right, here we go. Ow! Get on the other side. Get up. Go through. Go through all the way out. Open that door on that side. Stand up. Stand up. Get him out. Nick. Nick. Am I going with her? What do you want? Move. Code three. Here, let me get out of your car. Get out of your car. I got it. Go. 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 Take her. Man.